Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to talk about black people hate black people, which is really just a funny comedic video. But I do want to talk about it because I do think that this young man, Reggie Too Funny, uh, Reg Too Funny, does make a lot of good points. What the fuck? Man, you say you lying, Sam. Lying you, about what? You for real? My nigga, you reading a book? You think a nigga, you think you better than me, my nigga? Man, hey! Hey! What up? This nigga reading the book! <laughs> <laughs> nigga trying to improve his life! <laughs> nigga, a dork! The fuck? Boy, you is a bitch, man! What all the beat the fucking words in you, boy? Pussy! <laughs> My nigga! Yes, sir! Throwing your life away like the rest of us, huh? Choppers, Glocks, AR? Oh, that. Hey! Hey yo! What up? Bridge clinching! The fuck? Say you swat a guy! Yeah! Man, that nigga cool as a bitch! That nigga! This one reason this resonates with me is because that house that he's at looks like one of my old friends' house. Like that exact setup. Like a fence, a house, and a house right there. And you used to just go through the fence like that where you hop the fence to get over there. Oh man, it was crazy. But let me talk about this. And this is why I think I said that black people hate black people. The crab in a bucket scenario. Um, crabs in a bucket, not crab in a bucket. One crab, it'd be fine. <laughs> crabs in a bucket. I do think that it, it. I find it funny that what we see more and more in the black culture, and I am hoping there will be a change. Like, I, I want to keep talking about it because I think it's important. This is not really me saying that black people are awful or just make black people are just idiots. I'm talking about what we have allowed ourselves to be full, fall, uh, fallen into. Okay, this happens with other races, but I'm going to talk with just the blacks for now. When we, see, when we listen to a hip-hop song, when we listen to any kind of songs in our culture a lot of these days, a lot of it is really um, fun to listen to because we hear about toting guns. We hear about shooting people. We rarely hear in songs these days, and not to say that these songs don't exist, but what the mainstream pushes for us and what people tend to like to hear for some odd reason is they want to hear about guns. They want to hear about having sex. They want to hear about being a uh, throat goat. They want to see girls twerking. They want to see guns. They want to see money. They want to see drugs. They want to see drinking. They want to see all the stuff that is uh, wild. We see this with Doja Cat. What Doja Cat is doing now with the whole demon persona going on and giving it to the devil, and then all of a sudden her songs are getting more popular popular it's just everybody wants to go in this whole demon time everybody wants to be involved in the worst things because they think that makes life better instead of going and not necessarily going to college i'm not saying you have to go to college but nobody wants to go and get a decent job nobody wants to take care of a family nobody wants to have a family they think kids are a burden they don't want to be married because they're so afraid of losing their money People rather, when they're young, they rather just party and do all this stuff they feel is so wild, which is what you've seen on TikTok and the YouTubes and the Instagrams of people just doing wild things to get more and more attention. We have become more self-centered. And so that's why I find it funny that this young man is showing it. You read a book, they laugh at you, they clown you, they call you lame. They call you stupid because you're not running, wearing all these chains and you're not driving the fanciest car. You're actually frugal. Imagine somebody who actually does have money, somebody who's making excess of six figures. Let's say they're making five hundred thousand dollars a year, but they still they don't drive the best car. They just drive something that would look normal. They may drive a two, a 2024 Honda Civic. Right. They're driving something like that, something that's weird instead of driving a Lambo. Instead of driving uh, a G-Wagon, they're just driving a car that gets them from A to B. Somebody, so people look at that and they go, wow, what a clown. Why are you doing this? And they live in a humble three-bedroom house with, you know, security and stuff like that because they are making money. But they live in a humble house. They're not living in the biggest things. They don't wear the, the most expensive clothes. They don't wear Chanel. They don't wear Louis Vuitton. They just go and take care of their family. And they do the things that they know they're good at. Those people get called lame. But if I want to get on a rap song and talk about blowing your head off and getting you tapped, doing all that kind of stuff. Oh, then I'm the coolest person. That's what young black kids aspire to be. Or instead of a woman getting on there and talking about how she raises her family and how she does stuff for her, her husband or she's not married, she does stuff here in the business world and stuff like that. Nobody cares about that. What they get told is, no, I want to see you shake your booty on a vehicle, right? I want to see you twerk. I want to see you do these things. I want you to spread it wide open. I want you to talk about how you're the throat goat and how you uh, suck on every glizzy. They want to see that. And that's what young girls should aspire to be, just wild and reckless. 
Like, how do you think that helps you in society? That's my point. It's like, that's why I don't understand why we would even push this narrative. Because as stupid as it sounds, as stereotypical as it sounds, it's the truth. And when you get a black person who decides to think differently, what do you get told? Oh, you're not invited to the cookout. Right. You know, you're not invited to the cookout. You're not you're not one of us. You're not really black. You're not really this. You're not really that because you don't believe what every black person thinks. We have to be so hive minded. So if we don't think the exact same way on every single thing, if you didn't want to be part of the uh, the movement back in the day, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you didn't want to be part of this or you didn't believe that this this black man um, did wrong. If you if you call this black man a criminal, you're cool. But if you call um call this white guy not a criminal you're off it's just like it's just weird to me and we continue to celebrate this even though it may not be coming out right in front of our faces we see it in the music who are the guys who get propped up it's rarely the business black men and when we think about black men in black culture and society do we who do we still see get propped up it's not the men who are lawyers it's not your doctors heck it's not your plumbers it's not your guys who work on your ac it's not even people who are blue collar nothing it's always the black people who got a hundred thousand dollars and stacking it up and putting it in next to the ear. They got grills in their mouth. They got they tote guns. They got rings. They got jewelry all over the place. Man, it just it's just like that's who gets propped up for us. And I just find it weird. I grew up in a society. I grew up with white people, and white people do this same thing of trying to have the fancy cars, uh, trying to have all the beautiful women and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm saying it's not just the black thing. But I will say the one difference I see is that when you look at the all the white people I saw got propped up when I was growing up were never gangsters. They were never thugs. They were never any of that. All the people I saw got propped up in my, uh, when I was growing up around all these white people, lawyers, doctors, and the people who worked in the blue collar jobs, the plumber supervisors, the guys who worked in tech, all those guys got propped up. OK, I didn't see them saying, you know who I want to be like? Trailer trash. Right. I want to be like the people who rob banks. I want to be like the people who rob people and beat up people and fight every day. That was never talked about. Even even though all of us were living like young people and we were trying to get money and trying to stunt. Right. Even we knew that ultimately what we looked up to were people who were lawyers, people who were doctors, people who were living in those big houses, who were doing like software engineering, who were doing engineering period, who were mathematicians. We looked up to those people. But for some reason in the black community, that's not what's looked up to. That's not what's popular. It's always the guys, even 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 the black people who aren't toting guns and trying to talk about violence. The other black people that get propped up are the black people who are flashy, really flashy. I'm talking about money all over the place. Nice cars, nice women, no guns, none of that. But still nice cars, nice, uh, beautiful women all over them uh, showing off everything that they have. It, that's what always gets propped up instead of instead of stuff that's feasible you know what i mean instead of saying hey yeah hey look yeah i'm, I'm a, I'm a businessman um, i work at a law firm uh, that's what i do i give legal advice they're not in the courtroom necessarily or another man's like yeah i'm a supervisor i'm a plumber i make really good money um we're able to we train a lot of people to be able to do all these same jobs because even though technology is going forward, there's still a lot of mechanical stuff that needs to be done. We don't prop up mechanics. We don't prop up diesel mechanics. We don't prop up truck drivers. We don't prop up nobody. All we ever prop up is the people who got all that money next to their ear. That's why we got so many people in the community also that can get scammed so easily in the black community. That's why you have all these black women who go to, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur and sell lashes. I want to be an entrepreneur and sell wigs and weaves, knowing that that ain't going to work. Right. And that's why you get other black guys who go into real estate and then just scam people because they have no idea how to do anything with money. Right. Or they tell you to go into crypto or they tell you to go into some other scamming stuff and tell you college is a joke or something like that. Don't work nine to five. Go out there and hustle on the streets. That's all we ever get. We don't ever get anybody who says, hey, working this nine to five and being able to make something of yourself and take care of your family is something to look up to. That's what I'm, I'm not trying to make it seem like black people are bad. I'm telling you my experience of growing up around all white people and in my adulthood being around all black people. I see I've seen both worlds. OK. And I'm not saying, obviously, there's the Asian community and the Hispanic community. In the Hispanic community, what I've seen is more of a, uh, they just work. I don't really see them prop up anything, <laughs> to be honest with you. All they prop up is work. And so, But when I was in the white community, and the, when I was in the white community and the black community, the black community, that's what I saw propped up. In the white community, all of us wanted to be uh, 
um, lawyers and stuff like that. That's what I was seeing among those white people. But when I was hanging out with black people all the time, nobody inspired to make money. It was always a side hustle. It was always the selling lashes, selling this, selling shoes. It's just stuff that wasn't really didn't make any sense. But it was all about showing off all the money you have. It wasn't about actually making yourself productive to society. It was about making money. That's the difference. The white people, it seemed, wanted to be productive to society. And then it seemed like the black people wanted to be like, I want to show you how much money I got to show you that I, I don't need no white man. I don't know, man. That's just how I felt. Um, but let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think that's how it goes? Do y'all think... And I, like I said, this is I'm not trying to make it just a race thing. It is a culture thing. A culture thing. Okay? I just think that's how it went down. And I think in the black culture, that's how it seems to go. Does other cultures have their problems? Of course they do. We're all human beings. For the most part, we have the same problems. But I was saying, at some point, no matter where you live, there's going to be separations of race, wealth, poverty, height, beauty, non-beautiful, fat, not fat. There's always going to be a separation amongst a lot of these things. And so they, today we're talking about the distinction of black culture when it comes to money and the white culture when it comes to money and success. Okay, I'm just giving you the differences that I've seen growing up with all white people and then in my adulthood being around all black people. That's just what I've seen. Am I stupid? Am I racist? Y'all let me know. I'll see you in the comment section. Peace.